Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to play the G major scale. This violin lesson is for beginners and in case you're looking for new pieces to learn then order my book Master the Violin which is currently on Amazon and I also have a special offer on my Patreon page. The link will be down below where you can order this book as a signed copy and I'll send it to you anywhere. It doesn't matter where you live in the world. Here you can learn violin the easy way by using different colors for each string. This is a very colorful book for beginners of all ages. If you haven't got this book, run out and get it or buy it to your friend as a Christmas present. It's a wonderful gift. I love it. So, and now I'm going to show you how to play the G major scale. Scales are highly important, not only for beginners, but for all of us. So I daily practice scales as well. All the professional violinists do, the good ones. We're going to start obviously on the open G string. Then comes the first finger on the G string and so on. Second, third finger, open D string, first finger on the D string, second finger on the D string, and third, open A string, first finger on the A string, and then low second finger on the A string, which means that the first and second fingers they're together. Third finger, open E string, first finger, low second finger on the E string, third finger, and B, and then we go back, second, first, when we go back we use the fourth finger, low second finger on the A string, and we use the fourth finger again on the D string, high second finger, finger on the G string again, and play large bows, really use the whole bow for each note. into each note, fall in love with each note, then it will sound so beautiful and juicy. And this is what you want. And when you're done practicing the separate bows, you can connect the two notes and play two legato. When you practice this for a while, this might take a couple of days until you start feeling comfortable with playing two legato. You can start playing four legato. One, two, three, obviously play a little bit faster because if you play four legato on the same tempo it will be very difficult to have enough bow for all the notes. Ooh, I'm running out of the bow. It's possible but the point is and also speeding up and learning how to play faster and when you start feeling comfortable with playing four legato you can move on to Eight legato. Also try to play crescendo when you go up. Crescendo means you're getting louder. Yeah, let's try that. And then when you go back, 
gets softer. And also remember to stress the beginning of each bow. Because if you don't do that, the stress will come out somewhere else and that doesn't sound good if you play like that's not the right way to play it and you always have to focus on stressing the first note the first beat of each measure is strong and then one day you'll be able to play the whole movement up on one bow and when you come back you play the whole scale on one bow as well which goes like this and then perhaps one week later you'll be able to do the following give it a try but not all at once okay start small start slow practicing slowly is highly important for everyone okay not only for beginners also for professionals because if you want to play in tune you have to practice really slowly and listen to each note and that's the only way to have a perfect intonation yeah listen to each note listen and correct and if the note was not right don't adjust it by sliding it up or down take the finger up again and come from above yeah this is how you practice if it was out of tune keep coming back from above never slide around yeah this is very important then same thing with the next finger yeah or if you're coming back for example from the first finger to the fourth you also have to move your left elbow when you go from d string to g so that your fingers Feel comfortable on the G string otherwise you'll have to stretch them and that doesn't feel comfortable it's not good for your hand make sure to practice this scale on a daily basis no excuses every day you start practicing by playing open strings this is not easy to do And really try to play as beautifully as possible and as slowly as possible at the same time which is an almost impossible combination and then when you're done with that you start with your scales or use some other exercises I showed you in my other videos in my previous videos but the scales are definitely a must do it on a daily basis and you'll notice how your results will surprise you and everyone else around you it's totally worth it we don't listen to your scales of course when we go to recital but we hear the results you know the results that you produce by practicing scales on a daily basis are amazing and they're totally worth it and I love practicing scales practice them as if they would be the most beautiful piece you've ever played yeah by falling in love with each note you can make it happen doesn't that sound beautiful each note sounds beautiful so fall in love with each note today and start practicing with me practice with this video practice alone practice anywhere practice anytime make practicing totally normal practicing is something like it belongs it belongs to your life you know it's part of you and when you make that happen your results will exceed your expectations and you'll start moving up 
really fast. And this is what you want. Remember the secret number one, slow down, practice slowly on a daily basis. Secret number two, practice open strings on a daily basis. And secret number three, practice skills on a daily basis. Remember to give me thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, become my patron today so that you can start sending me your tutorial and violin sheet music requests. And I'll start working on them right away.